totally different approach. See, I'm still looking at, even though it's fabric and doesn't really matter, it's worth taking a, you know, notice of what's going on on here. Because if you do, it will look much more realistic. This is our dark shadow bit now here. See, we've got the edge of his paw there. That's coming down there, like that. This is a bit, actually, that's that's yellow in there. We could put that in, in yellow. And then we've got this. This is blue. Yeah, there's a little bit of yellow in there, actually. See that? That line, I'm just going to have that line I put in. So don't worry if it looks too blue, we can go over that with, we'll go over that with some white. And it's got a bit of a fluffy look, so, you know, don't, don't go try and make a hard edge on it. I've got some blue in here, really strong bits there. And we've got a bit of white and then we've got his fur. And that, we can go over that line there. Also, you can see there's little tiny spots on this, which the paper, I want the paper to stay coming through so we don't have to put all those spots back in. Right, let's try some orange now in this corner here. Yeah, that's good. Really enjoyed this colour mixing. I think... Um, Been a really nice, a really nice learning curve for me. I must say, been good. Never had to do this before because I've had all the colours, but it, it's it's very good. I like it. Right, so this is it's kind of yellow, but it's not bright yellow. So I'll just put a bit of orange in there, just coming down through here. little hairs on the end there. There's the white bit there. I'll we'll colour that in. And knock it back a little bit because that's that's yellow. Okay. Just wipe your hand off on you. Don't use different colour. Just wipe your finger off a bit. Yeah. See that that orange colour is not going above there. Kind of that's it. That's it. So we're probably not going to use that again. This is pink up here. Get the yellow. Um, yeah, we'll use the uh, mustardy colour. That's quite mustardy in there, isn't it? some grey with that, just to kind of blend it up again, I 
that's quite yellow. And here, I've got this, this is kind of yellow. Well, it is on my picture. You just do what's on your picture. Just, you know, there are tiny little hairs there, but don't worry about those yet. Just get the colours in. And then we'll, we'll go with a bit of detail after. This is kind of going up here, over the blue, a different, different kind of look. Just blend it together. Don't worry about his paw, it'll be alright. It'll just, we're, we're just going to use the, we're just going to do the fabric and then his hairs on his paw will go slightly over it. And we can get the exact shape of his paw right as well. Um, this, this would be good up here, I think. Because there is a line up there, but it, it's not white. And it's kind of bumpy. And there's it coming. Yeah, so this is 184. It's not the light yellow. This is like a... Uh, mustard colour. We'll try some of this in here, I think. See how that goes on the, on the pink. Yeah, it's good. That's going to be nice on those little patches there. So you just you never know what's going to happen to do it, do you? It's very good. Great. Gosh, I do, do absolutely love drawing. It really is good. It really is a good, good thing to do. Okay, so... Yeah, looks a bit mad at the moment, doesn't it? Put some, put some more pink in. They do stand right out though, uh, and I know mine aren't exactly the right shapes, but you know, it doesn't matter, it's, it's material, it really doesn't matter, as long as it doesn't look too uniform at the end, you know, you can do bits, uh, you know, this is a bit of a clump here, so just try to thin that out a bit, it's looking alright I think, go over that orangey bit again. That needs to be more blue in there, I'm just seeing that. See, I'm not going over it so hard that we're filling up the paper. Because like I said, I want that paper to come come through. What um, I'm noticing now is that none of these patches of white have got a hard edge. So we're just going to have to kind of soften them all up a bit. Just go around the edges. Um, we'll, we'll try the pink, see what happens there. But they need softening up. They can't be clumps. This is broken up a bit here. But they can't be clumps. So just soften the edges. We can easily put the white back in when we want it. See, I've never done fabric like this before. I'm just copying what I'm seeing here. Never done anything like this before. It looks like um, it looks a bit like a, um, a cotton wool type effect, really, doesn't it? I 
think it, it is quite amazing actually if you just keep at something just copy what you're seeing you know you stand back you think oh my god that's a mad color but it will look all right in the end if you you know you you can kind of do your own thing with it but if you do that too much it won't look it won't look like a, the fabric you're trying to copy okay so I'm going to go over that with some white I think it's going to get a bit bright uh, but again I'll just dab it this takes off the excess softens it all up look you can still, still see that that's very you've got some very white bits there That's looking a bit more blue, isn't it? There. More blue than pink. So we'll just rub it a bit more, I think. So let the let the paper come through rather than put more colour on. I think that'll work. Yeah, that's working that. Yes, that's gonna work fine. Rub it off a bit with your finger. Okay, so we'll use the white pencil now. We'll just see how we get on with that. Um, just put some white patches back in. You can maybe, you know, try and copy a bit more of the direction. Some white. Use the pencil on the side. That's, that's working better, I think. Make these edges fluffy and um, you could even go over the background I think that will work yeah very very gently just make them fluffy this one's very broken up so just, just go gently over that and then fluffiness goes over the blue up here. There is a line there. There is a, a line. It's not a hard line. these patches of white on again just try not to put them to over all of the the areas just kind of in the middle of the fluffiness and then um, it'll just be the highlight on top of the fabric there's a line there you put that in it's quite nice and then you've got the fluffiness coming around here and little bit over there. Just a little line there. Things like that will make it look real. When you're finished, you'll be amazed how that how that will work.
Oh my. So we've got this bit there, that's that. Let's put this a bit softer. And then we've got a line kind of there in the middle. Quite a strong line, but obviously it will be softened. There's another line there. This is where the fabric's folding, I think. Oh, it's doing something there, isn't it? And then that's kind of it's over here. I'm not in the way here. there on this wall so it's kind of there so that's that's good measure I think yeah, we've got another line coming like that and then almost in line with that coming down coming just past his, it's coming to about there, the bottom there. Uh, it's quite near the green, yeah, it's there. It's a bit soft, so fluff it up a bit. white, white mass here. Sorry if the board's moving, moving about, it's, it's got a mind of its own, this board. I'm used to it, but if you're trying to watch what I'm doing, um, then it's going to be annoying for you if it's moving around. I'm trying to steady it. See, that's looking nice and fluffy now. It's looking good and fluffy. So yeah, you just gotta, just gotta do it till it looks right, till you're happy with it. Might take a while. Might take a while. This.
think if we'd done this with a pencil, it would have taken a lot longer. This is really speeded it up, actually. So, yeah, go and get yourself one of these sticks. The Faber-Castell stick, is, it is very good. I think um, when we finish this, I'll, I'll move the camera over, and, or tomorrow I'll move the camera across and show you all the different whites I've put on the side here. As I say, I did that for Carolyn because she was asking about how white, the different whites go over. And, um, you know, when you're doing whiskers, it does depend on the white you're using. Normally, I do my whiskers in a different pencil. Um, and it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't come out grainy like that. So that's interesting. I would normally do those in the, um, a softer pencil. Don't go too hard. Okay, just soften them all up. Right, so I can see it's got much more of a bluey, bluey look in there. So now we've done that. Where again we'll put some more white on but not yet we might do that with a little stick actually because um, it is blue it's mm, just try to just be brave and try the dark blue very very gently yeah the dark blue is going to be the right one see how it's it, it's aligning with that yellow, the tiniest met yellow line in there, and it gives it a nice edge. That's definitely dark blue there. Just tap it with your finger, make sure it doesn't go over the white again. This, I'll try the dark blue in here, because it is shallow after all, so going to be pretty dark. I can see lines going over the, the yellow in there. But we can just rub that over the we can bring that out that yellow again with the lighter hint of blue but you can see I'm hardly touching the paper really it's a very strong I love this blue actually it's very very strong
rub it. I'm only just dabbing it really. Try not to rub it all over the white. But as you can see, it's still, it's still okay. Just try and do a bit more. Keep those little sharp, last few little sharp bits of blue in there. Yes, I just want to make this come out a little bit here. It's the light yellow and it's not right up against his paw, but it's up against the blue. There, like that. And then I've got some, you know, I've made this very dark in here. shadow over there that shows it's, it's going round and his arm is over it as well I've got some nice little hairy bits there we can put those on because they're this colour Crazy. <laughs> bit crazy. Okay, let's just step back a bit and have a look. Okay, so I guess that we need to soften all the blue bits, make them a bit more blurry. I know there's some sharp bits in there, but we need to soften them up a bit. Okay, now I'm going to, I've got the Faber Castell stick again now, I'm just going to see what that does. Let's put some little, little bits in there. See, that's a, that's a line up there. It's a nice fluffy line there. So, when you put the lines in, just make sure you fluff them over. Because um, it's going to go out for a bit in the sun, get a few rays. It's a lovely day today. Just quickly go over this, and then we'll leave it there. I think. nice and quick to do but 
to show you than that. You never know. doing clouds. Clouds are really hard to do actually. I had a go at clouds and they are not easy. They just take an immense amount of time. Well, they did for me anyway. And these are just like little highlights on the top. do is cover that um the darker patches over with white now i think and then we'll just leave it there because they need just sort of softening up a bit i think um so we're just going to go over it all with the white just soften up the whole thing so this by using the white like this on its side we're just blending it or just giving it a softness see it's softening up already So really you do a lot of your blending with the pencils. Yeah, that's looking better, I think. Looking much better. But only gently. You don't want to fill all those bits in, in between. Definitely not. Because you put a lot of work into them to get those, that, that colour and to keep the grain coming through all the flecky bits from the paper so yeah just going over the top now then 
see what it looks like when I come back to it. Just see, see what I can do with it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting there. It's just a bit, I've got too many big lumps like this bit here. That needs breaking up a bit. It's just too, too uniform looking. It's got a little curly line in there going around. You know, things like that, we can just refine it a bit like that. Just put a little bit up in the middle there. Just some pink in there. Anyway, I'm going to finish now and see if I can turn it off with my remote. <laughs> it's a bit tricky, this. It does, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, there's the blue light. Okay. <laughs>